Howdy y'all, this is Red Wolf, and it's uh, part of our spear series. I want to talk a little bit about throwing spears. So, throwing spears are spears that are designed to wound stuff by throwing. Um, historically, you usually end up with a guy carrying a thrusting spear and one or two of these little throwing spears with him um, as part of a complete kit so that he can do damage to people or targets at distance. These are used, um, you can see how much shorter these are. This is, um, even for a throwing spear, this is actually really long um, versus this one which comes all the way up as far as I can touch. Um, these are used kind of like uh, dangerous game rounds. They're not necessarily for throwing at rabbits and small game of that variety. They're used for putting serious wounds in deer and um, bigger, more ice age stuff, you know, your mammoths, elk, bison, the bigger stuff. Um, it leaves a larger wound channel than an atlatl or a um, bow and arrow or anything like that. But because of how much uh, you're trying to force into the animal, it does more damage because it creates more surface area for the bleeding, but it also doesn't penetrate as far. So there's a uh, dynamic here, especially when we're talking about survival. If you're going to start making one of these, you need to decide whether distance and penetrating power uh, matter or if mass and uh, wound size matter. Cavitation, I suppose, what we use in... Um, firearms testing. So anyway, um, in design, this is something people often get wrong. This is our primitive spear we've been talking with. You can see we got about the same size here. Um, you want something straighter than this. I actually cut this one particularly wobbly because I was thinking about using it for um, another primitive example. Um, these things traditionally are between like three and a half and five feet with four feet being average, they're really tiny. Um, your half diameter is normally somewhere closer to like half or three quarters of an inch. They're designed for traveling distance and doing damage, not just being able to like, when I say distance, this needs to go ideally 25 to 60 feet, not uh, 10 to 25 and it needs to fly straight so it'll hit a target when it gets there instead of flying for little ways then turning sideways and slapping the target instead of going point first into it. Um, the only real professional grade um, throwing spear I have right now is I brought a um, cold steel Samburu. Now this is the original. This thing's like seven, seven and a half feet. It's got the um, leaf-shaped cutting edge and a practice um, point. And I like this because you get, uh, for my testing purposes, which are a lot more HEMA-based right now, um, you get one style of traditional javelin point on one side, the cutting edge. And you get the more tra the also traditional spike style uh, on the other. Um, these are awesome. If anybody is just looking for something to practice with, I highly recommend uh, I highly recommend getting one. Um, now, design-wise and uh, features, um, the big thing with the throwing spear, like I said, is it's good against larger game. These are not really rabbit weapons. Um, they're really for bigger stuff. Um, these were really popular with the stone points and all that. These were particularly popular against animals that are extinct now because we killed them all with these. And as things are getting further away and smaller, we go to the more modern projectile weapons like atlatls and bows and slings and stuff of that. And we'll talk about all that in due time. Um, your range that you're looking for is you know 
three to 30, three to 45 feet, um, which is, uh, it's 45, like, you know, let's say two to 10 steps max. And I mean, for 10 steps, you're gonna be throwing this thing up for distance instead of just throwing flat out. A um, little bit of technique I found, at least with my Samburu. Um, I like, so my balance point is right here. I like to get a little bit forward of that. And I cock up the throw. So you can see this. I get right here and I lock right here. And I get in a position where I want to put my finger up like this. I either hold it, uh, I hold it flat for throwing short. Get the, kind of this pinch. I throw it like that for short throws. And sometimes for longer ones, I'll fold up put a couple of fingers under here and rear back and toss it and I find that that's more accurate um, I don't know if that helps anybody but uh, if anybody knows a better way to do it in the comments I'd uh, I'm, I'm always up for improving my skill set here and um, those of you who got less of an idea of what is going on than I do um, I hope that helps you give you some direction to at least move in because uh, you know, the accuracy rating on these things I've seen you know it, it, it's not uncommon to miss by three or four feet um, to get good I'm decent with it right now and I still have like a one foot zone uh, that I normally hit in so um, I think that's enough rambling on that for right now um, said I got some testing coming up with these in a minute and um, hopefully we'll get all that in video till next time this is Rebel signing off appreciate y'all keeping with me so far